There are some downright bizarre events worldwide happening at this particular moment that you don't even know about. Well, you should. Some can be explained, even though it might have taken a long time or even centuries to explain them. Others are so obscure that even the best archaeologists, historians, and scientists in the world haven't been able to quite figure them out. Will we figure them out today? The Dequee Spheres in Costa Rica Some of the most perplexing discoveries in history have been uncovered slowly over time, just like the Dequee Spheres in Costa Rica. More than 300 strange stone spheres were found in this Central American nation. Flintstones playing soccer, you suppose? Well, some of the rocks are too big even for them. They range from just a few centimeters wide to weighing more than 16 tons. But the biggest mystery about them is hidden in their origin. Neither scientists nor archaeologists can explain how or why they were ever created in the first place. However, they agree that these artifacts were handmade by people who lived between 700 and 1530. They were likely carved out of more gigantic boulders into their perfectly spherical shape by old-fashioned picking and grinding methods. The Antikythera Mechanism Are you aware that the ancient Romans had computers, just like we do? Well, sort of. Not the MacBook, of course. They had the Antikythera Mechanism, an early version of an analog computer used to predict astronomical events. Sounds too suitable even for our age. The first of these artifacts was initially found in 1900 in a sunken Roman ship that probably sailed during the 1st century BCE. However, it wasn't until the 70s that scientists began recognizing its worth and figuring out how complicated the mechanism works. The Antikythera mechanism has bronze pieces, gears with triangular teeth, and rings that all interconnect. We believe the machine can predict the future. Well, no one can figure out who used the object and to what end. And how, so you got the chance to be the pioneer. Fairy Nambium Circles There's something extraordinary going on in the Nambib Desert in southern Africa. The landscape is covered in perfectly circular spots where the grass, or any plant life for that matter, simply refuses to grow. What might have been eerier is that these dry rings, ranging from 2 to 15 meters in diameter, are usually circled by a halo of healthy, lush grass. Maybe UFOs use this place as a landing spot. Sorry, that's the best we can come up with. Well, the official term for it is actually arid grass formation. The mysterious patches have been nicknamed fairy circles for their enchanting aesthetic. These are nature's crop circles, and scientists still can't figure them out. Well, we like our theory more. The Lost City of Atlantis Is the island of Atlantis real or merely a work of fiction? Nobody knows. Atlantis is often called a likely mythical nation, but many historians think it was actually once a real place. Plato wrote about the mighty kingdom that existed there in his dialogues Tiamias and Critias, declaring that the island sank somewhere in the ocean around 9600 BC. We're still not sure if Socrates ever existed or if he was the Plato creation, so the Greek philosopher is not the best source right now. Some people have connected the lost city of Atlantis to a rather famous tourist destination. Actually, the Greek island of Santorini, because it was once destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Still, the story just doesn't add up. Maybe someday we'll surprisingly discover it by chance. Who knows? Earthquake lights. It's lightning. It's a UFO. No, it's earthquake lights. Uh, not so entertaining? Well, nature can be exciting too. These rare flashes illuminate the night sky even when there's no storm stirring and sometimes not even a cloud overhead. Earthquake lights can perform in many different shapes and colors, from floating blue orbs to a striking green bolt. Unlike lightning, these strange lights come from the ground rather than the sky, typically taking place before an earthquake. Coincidence? That happened before the 2009 earthquake in Italy, the one in Quebec in 1988, and dozens of other devastating tremors. These proofs might be enough. They don't occur after every earthquake, but they usually prophesy a looming natural disaster when they do. The mystery solved, you might say? Not really. Scientists still don't quite know what causes these magical flashes. The Shroud of Turin Could the Shroud of Turin actually be Jesus' burial cloth? Maybe some of us say, the spiritual shroud is a centuries-old linen cloth that contains an image of a crucified man. While the actual sepia-colored image of the face might look a bit questionable to some, the black and white negative of it clearly shows a striking resemblance to Jesus Christ. Atheists, leave the room. 
Even late Pope Pius XII agreed in 1958. The real question is whether the linen is actual or an outstanding artist's work, which is still being debated. Either way, the Shroud of Turin is being held in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy. The Hobbits of Flores Hobbits? The 18,000-year-old bones of the Flores man, who actually appeared to be a woman, were first found in the Indonesian island called Flores in 2003. At first, researchers thought they once belonged to a human, just like the rest of us, only a tiny guy. Someone between DeVito and Tom Cruise. The skull they excavated was less than one-third the size of ours. Later developments exposed that the bones belong not to a Homo sapien, but a Homo florensius. These different archaic human species existed after the Neanderthals went extinct. Because of her elfin size, they called the primal woman Hobbit after J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. However, many skeptics doubt how a hominid with a brain of that size could develop the sophisticated tools they found nearby. Maybe it's not about the brain size after all. Stonehenge just admiring the colossal stacked stone planks that make up Stonehenge is merely enough to make your back hurt. Now consider how people in prehistoric times moved those boulders over hundreds of miles even before the wheel's invention. This historic site in Wiltshire, England is one of the world's biggest riddles today. The rocks that make up this circle of stones weigh about 25 tons each and reach about 13 feet high. The people of the late Neolithic period began erecting these grand structures around 3100 BC. Right now, scientists have no clue how Homo sapiens could build it. Hobbits, is this your work? Naga Fireballs Picture the shock the first person who watched the enigmatic glowing balls rise from Thailand's Mekong River felt, or rather feared. Over the years, thousands of these spooky orbs have been witnessed rising over the 300-mile-long stretch of water in the distant part of Asia. Reports say they bob up to 600 feet, then disappear. Fearful locals think the burning red lights come from the giant sea serpent's mouth living in the Mekong. That's precisely how the fireballs got their name. However, scientists theorize that they're caused by deposits in the water. They decompose and turn into methane gas, whose bubbles rise to the river's surface and ignite when they meet oxygen at the top. But we suggest that's Wisp from Warcraft 3, looking for a tree to circle around. Both theories are still not confirmed. Bonus! Three Whale Rock no, that's not a spacecraft from the Arrival movie. That's Hin Sam Wan, which means Three Whale Rock. It's a 75 million year old rock complex jutting majestically out of the mountains. It earned its name since it looks like a family of whales from the right perspective. Reachable by a great trail network, a trip to these impressive stone leviathans is breathtakingly memorable. Not to mention an eco-friendly way for visitors to explore the fantastic views and surrounding forests. Consider them on your next Thai adventure. The Marfa Lights The Naga Fireball theory could almost be connected to the Marfa Lights in Texas, although there isn't nearly as much water in the Texas desert as there is in the Mekong. Witnesses say these orbs are about the size of basketballs and even differ in color. They've been known to dart, twinkle, hover, and even divide into two. The first mention of the Marfa Lights originated in 1883 when a farmer saw them while herding his cattle through Native American campfires. Still, no ashes were found. Like the Naga Fireballs, researchers say the Marfa Lights could be caused by gases that rise from desert swamps. Maybe they're the souls of Native Americans guarding their territory. Who knows?